Hey guys and gals, what's going on? It is Brad at Chicken here, bringing you guys another weekly update. And I know, before you start raging, before you start raging, I know I've been gone for the last week. I don't know really why I've been gone. I've actually recorded some things, and then I just deleted them at the end of the day. I thought, you know what? I can make better versions of these commentaries, and I'll just do them tomorrow. Don't know why I deleted them. I never ended up making them again. Just because I actually didn't have time the following day and then it never really got done. But um, I'm planning on changing that. I'm actually really considering making a schedule for just commentaries and series and stuff like that. I'm thinking maybe like Minecraft Mondays, um, Tunes Tuesdays, like with music or something. White Noise Wednesdays could be for live streaming on Wednesday, I don't know. Crazy commentary Thursdays. I, I have no idea, but essentially I'm thinking of putting up a schedule and stuff like that Also before before I move on if anyone has any questions for the Q&A coming up Please put them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate some more questions I only have about three or four to five right now, and I'd like some more just so I have something to choose from and you know, I could give I could give you guys my opinions. Come on, I never give my opinions. I never like to put my really I don't put my opinions out there because I think there's too many out there right now, and I think just a pleasant conversation is the best way to go. But anyways, put your comments down below asking me a question. Anything is fine. Doesn't it, it could be how was my day, and I would answer it. And if someone does that, if someone puts a comment, I'll be very grateful for that because you would add it on to the. Um, the Q and A, but moving on, moving on. I actually have some stuff to talk about. Maybe not really, but I have a uh, I have a short story time that I want to talk about because today was crazy. Today was very interesting. So let's just start off with that. So wake up, everything's normal. Eat breakfast, you know. Day goes on. Grandma asked me to go to d uh, lunch with her. Boom, I go to lunch with her. Everything's fine. She breaks her heel, uh, not her like actual heel, but breaks her shoe heel um, her um, what are they called fancy shoes whatever she was wearing her fancy shoes broke the heel off and we had to um, we had to just sort of deal with it she wanted to put or she wanted to go to the shoe repair shop but there wasn't really anything close by and so instead she put on her tennis shoes and we went to play bocce ball now bocce ball is an Italian sport and uh, neither her or nor I are Italian but her husband is Italian, and he's my step-grandfather, so we just went out, played with a bunch of Italian people, played some bocce ball. I lost because I was terrible. It was like my second time playing, I believe. So that was interesting. But for whatever reason, right next to the bocce ball court, we um, actually found a very small shoe repair shop. It was really sketch. So we go up there. Excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold right now, so if you hear me sniffling and stuff, I'm sorry. But we go up to the door. And there are five different doorknobs on the door. Now, it says open. It says open on the door. Everything, actually, there was a couple open signs, but they were really, like, artsy open signs. Like, there would, I, I don't really know how to describe it because it was so weird. It was essentially like they were nailed to the actual uh, windows and the actual door. So you can't really change the sign to being closed. It was just, like, always open, I guess. So, my grandma's trying to open up all these different doorknobs and none of them work and so I go reach to the very top there's like one like up in the top left corner of the door I don't know why and that one works and so we open the door we get through and now this place is like essentially take a small bathroom times it by two and that was the amount of room you had just because there was so many shoes covering the walls there were cowboy boots there were everything high heel shoes that's what I meant to say with my grandma's shoe her, she was wearing her high heeled shoes that broke but like there was just shoes everywhere everywhere like you couldn't yeah you couldn't move without touching shoes but um, we get to the cash register which was like really small it was essentially like a little stool almost and there it's like covered with uh, leather jackets for whatever reason and we go up there, and then this little guy comes out of the back. He's not actually little. He was about my height. This old Russian man comes out of the back and uh, asks us, you know, uh, how we are and what's the problem and all that great stuff. But then he gives us a little lecture on what, how to actually repair a shoe and what is the process done by, um, like, him, his sort of trade and the process done by actual, like, manufacturing companies that make really crappy shoes. And he was saying how 
the manufacturing companies are making it a lot harder for smaller uh, tailors and stuff like that to fix things because they make it so cheaply that it all breaks and you have to hand make all of the components all over again and it's just like a pain you have to like um, take liquid rubber and remake soles and all this other stuff and it was like crazy because he had this Russian accent which was awesome and then he just started talking about love because he was talking about how my grandma was pretty short, which she is, and um, he was asking, how do I say short or tiny, but, you know, in a non-offensive way, so that when I call, you know, people short or tiny, they're, it's not, they're not offended by me, you know, saying what they are. And she said, oh, just call me short, it's better, because tiny means you're really, like, thin and, you know, fragile or whatever. And so he's like, okay, well, there's a Russian saying that goes... Keep the tiny woman for love and the big woman for work. And <laughs> it was out of the blue. It was out of the blue, but it was it actually kind of made sense. Like he was saying how in uh, his wife, who's his height, she can't wear high-heeled shoes because then she'd be taller than everyone. While everyone who's short can wear high-heeled shoes. And he was saying that the bigger women can't be, um, aren't really seen as being as pretty or as petite, you know, as fragile that need to be taken care of by a man. They seem like they could actually do work, like they can be a man on their own. And that's what he said in Russia, he had, they had all of the big women work just as hard as the men and all of the small women were seen as, you know, beautiful and for love and all that fancy stuff. So that was hilarious. I, I was loving this guy. Hey, oh, by the way, his name was Victor and his wife's name was Victoria little quinky dink and he was talking about how um, they met and they got married it was so weird because my grandma was getting pissed off because she was like okay I gotta leave I don't want to sit here listening to your Russian stories and all this other stuff but I was enjoying it I loved it I love this guy I was actually going to like come back tomorrow when my grandma goes gets the shoes I was gonna come back tomorrow and actually you know talk to the guy some more but anyways getting back to him and his wife he was talking about how him and his wife got married but the first time they met was on a actual like railroad um like a station i guess where you go and there's a train and they stop and all that stuff and he was saying that in america and like on this side of the united states and california and stuff there are no railways and you can't really he's like if i was here i would have never met victoria and that's why she is the one i love and all that stuff and it was cute and it was nice but you know he was an old man and we had to get on our way so we we went on our way but man he, he was pretty interesting I, I can't I, I can't describe to you how awesome this guy was and then like oh he he would oh I can't really get into this that much because I could go on for hours about this guy but essentially he was saying like how these small girls would always break their heels and then they would walk on their heels and then he would get pissed off at them and then all this other stuff and he can't charge people for uh, more work like if he takes more time on a product he can't recharge them or anything but anyways that's my uh, mini miniature story, my miniature story time for you guys right now. Um, also, I guess this is a very small story time, but I was walking into my house right now, and uh, a bee flew and hit me in the eye, and got stuck in my eye, and then, yeah, that, that, was, that was painful. It wasn't really a story time, but just thought I would let you guys know that, because it was crazy. He didn't sting me, he just like started flow, like flying inside my eye, and it was, oh, it was the weirdest feeling ever. I started freaking out, like I had, I actually took my eye with my fingers, I'm doing it right now, I have to reenact it just to get in the mode, but I reenact it, well I'm reenacting it right now, and I took my fingers and like opened my actual eyelids so that it could fly out, it was so gross. But anyways, um, that's I guess the update, uh, I think I'll probably have to do another update to actually update you guys on something, this was sort of just a miniature story time as well as some information but anyways here I'll give you a little short update right now I'm gonna be putting out a lot more videos soon I'm thinking about doing the schedule let me know if you want to uh, help with the schedule I guess if you guys want to see some stuff you know here and there um, also bringing back little big planets I'm not too sure how to though because a lot of little big planet levels and stuff like that have copyright material and I cannot do uh, levels that have copyright material so I'm thinking of doing commentaries over them and then hopefully that will get rid of the copyright strikes or whatever goes on because my voice will be over it and, you know, it'll confuse the system or something. But anyways, guys, that's sort of my update for the week. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good time. Hopefully you enjoyed that miniature story time. 
If I find in, if I find some more Russian people or if I find Victor again, I'll let you know and I'll talk about him some more. But anyways, guys, it's been Bread Chicken. I'm out of here. Peace.